What's up, y'all? How to get away with murder? My words are already slurred. <laughs> Season 2, episode 14, plus a little bit of 13. Let's get 13 in less than like 40 seconds. Okay, so from episode 13, I can remember Frank did something to get a, uh, to get Annalise caught or whatever. Um, episode 13, they found out that Wes Daddy is uh, the the man that fired Annalise. Annalise baby got uh, where Annalise got herself in trouble because she was trying to do more than she needed to, and she got hit uh, by a car or something, and that's how she lost the baby. Wes and Laura, well, we already know Wes and Laura Kiss. I was trying to figure out what else happened in thirteen. Bitch. Michaela and uh, Asher hooking up, and I'm just like, "What are you kidding me?" Okay, so let's bump into episode 14. So, if I'm not mistaken, everybody at Annalie's house, and um, why I want to call this man Kincaid? The DA trying to um, figure out how everybody's doing and why are you at this point. And why are you in a video and all that good stuff? So he questions everybody. He questions Michaela, Ash, uh, Connor, Wes, and Laurel. And it was so hilarious. Like he tried to pick all, all of them apart. He got Michaela first. He was like, So I heard about you, Michaela, and the fact that you were sleeping with Caleb. So was the was the relationship before or after you um, you know, did the case because you know it's illegal she was like well it was afterward he, he started looking through notes so you said it was afterwards a girl is such smart yourself you should know you'll get in trouble and uh, let me tell you caleb said that yada 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 this and yada yada that and i'm just like what so he looking through his notes and she's like well if caleb did say that you should make sure you find him because they don't know where he is right now they think paul I think his name is Paul. Whatever his name is. Paul John. Weird crazy. Phil. I think it's Phil. <laughs> Paul John Phil. Phil. Um, they look at me and they think Phil is the one that, you know, kidnapped. Uh, kidnapped a boy. Kidnapped Caleb. Yeah, we're going to have a tire pink song with Caleb. In just about five more minutes. So, um. Once Michaela, they did Michaela. Like I said, everybody was in the DA, uh, DA's office. And then Bunny was with them. So, Connor was also there too. And he, he was saying something funny. And then, like, the DA, I swear the DA tried to, like, pick on people and then get in, you know, I guess get into their emotions or get into their little uh, psyche. or Because he it was like he was trying to not, not flirt with uh, Connor. But he said something. Connor's like, uh. You're not my type. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I was not there. I don't recall this. So thank you and good night. We get to Laura and y'all. Laura, she bounced back at that ass. Uh, I forgot what it was, but she went Spanish and she went, Yo, cut it, get it, and you get on top of bed and all this shit. And I was like, Okay, Laura, you better let him know you know Spanish, but you ain't gotta be on his side because y'all both Hispanic. Love it. Get it together. So y'all, yeah, then we get to uh. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Then we get to Connor. No, we get to Asher. And he all freaking out. Bunny, I mean, he talks to Annalise for everything. He's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. She was like, Annalise was like, Asher, what they don't know about you is that you're smarter than what everyone thinks. And I kind of thought he was going to tell, which he never did. And he was like, he talked to the day. He was like, so where were you? He was like, I can't remember. He's like, well, such and such, such, this one of our eyewitnesses said you were with Sinclair when she, before she was dead. And he's like, well, uh, I don't recall. You don't know how many white people look like me and yada, yada, yada. And it was just, it was cute for what it was. And he was like, well, I find that very funny. And your dad died on the same day. I was like, this fool is reaching. This hoe is reaching for edges that's not even there. I'm just like, you know, like he reaching and he he got my like my head ball. He trying to put twists in that mug, and I ain't even <laughs> to do no twists. Like get it together, bruh. 
Bro, when I tell y'all the DA was reaching like crazy, he was doing the most. So, um, mm -hmm, you better get up. <laughs> and so, um, homeboy, I want to say honey cab is like, <laughs> ah, like much love. But yeah, homeboy doing what he doing, trying to get some information, but he never did because Asher, like, I guess I thought Asher was going to be lead somewhere into it but he was dismissed so y'all after that um i'm trying to see where can this go michaela feeling bad about um oh y'all <laughs> this what it was this one from episode 13 y'all were at the shit out of um annalise so <laughs> She read the shot at least so bad. At least had to go home to her mama in uh, Minnesota or somewhere. Y'all died. I was like, really? <laughs> She's like, mama. Mama, I'm home. And y'all, what I tell you, old oh, girl? Ooh. I tell y'all, old oh, girl. Was everything and more. It was hilarious. So she get home and. The whole family show. When I tell you the whole family, the whole family, auntie, grandma, cousin, cousin's best friend, best friend's cousin, uh, Gertrude, and the the troop of old ladies. <laughs> Dang, what was her name? Oplika. The mama, boy, the mama was cooking for the guys, like cooking everything up. It was funny before everything happened. She was like, "Nigga, it's such and such o'clock." Get up and get get in, get in the shower, Annabelle. Get in the shower, Annabelle. I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> Girl, Annabelle, get in the shower before she get a switch. And she tell you to pick the switch. And the switch better not be a switch that you can't whip your ass with. And you better be able to feel it. So, <laughs> so that was cute. And it was good to see her interact with her sister. And for the most part, her sister was like, yeah, how does it feel to be alone? She was like, yeah, you should know. She's like, yeah, I know that. And I'm taking care of your mama, too. So how does that feel? And she find out that her daddy is home or whatever. <laughs> and I don't really know the backstory with them. I just know that she has a disdain for um, her daddy. At first, I thought that was a man that raped her, but evidently not. So, uh, he's shy, I'm so sorry. And then, uh, yeah, why they get to the uh, table and all that good stuff? Nate is there talking about oh mom was like ooh she looking at the window like ooh uh he fine girl he'll get your juices going I bet the people women is knocking on him at the door and once everything started happening the mom came outside I was like hey baby how you doing I just wanna let you know you can't leave it's so rude we don't want you we just wanna feed you so come on baby come and get some food we got some grits we got some barbecue we got some chicken we got some hormones some greens and cabbage and hot water cornbread so you cannot refuse you have to come in here and eat a man such as big as yourself has to be hungry <laughs> Y'all, so that was cute. They at the table grilling his ass. You have a kid. You got a job. You and Elise uh, dating. You on the other side of the fence with her because you a cop and she's a lawyer. I'm just like, child, black folks, black folks, black folks, black folks, black folks, black folks. <laughs> so it was cute or whatever. And once all that was said and done, he, the... The dad was like, so, you have any kids? And yada, yada, yada. And raising kids must be hard. She was, she said, yeah, for you? I was like, oof. And once all that stuff happened, the sister's like, look, I'm going to get down. We're going to get down and get down. We're going to pop lock drop and all that good stuff. Y'all want to parlay over to this area? We're going to get it crunk. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> and her and Annalise. I mean, at least on the mom and the dad, the mom was like, uh, at least she had a problem. She was like, not with you. I was like, oop. Girl, let me exit this camera because it's about to get real. <laughs> I mean, they talked for a little bit, but it wasn't anything serious. And so once all this happened, like I said, she was mad that the daddy is at home with her because evidently he left her before. So y'all, all that said and done, we get to um, Annalise doing what she does best. She got evicted. I mean, she didn't get evicted. She got a uh, warrant out for her arrest. And so she decides to come back home. When she comes back home, 
Oh my gosh, what the hell happened? Yeah, I forgot what happened. All I know is uh, Asher and Michaela hooked up again. Well, they tried to and they stopped. Um, Frank saw Wes and Laurel almost kiss. But, yeah. Oh, sorry. And at least one damn case without anybody there. <laughs> then I was in Minnesota she said one. She was like, um, I'm letting you know. Y'all, they... Here we go. They found out it was Caleb. Caleb was the one that was framing everybody. Like, bitch, what? He framed everybody. He was sleeping with Christina or Christian, whatever her girl, her name is. They would be in a room. They would be sleeping in a room every night. <laughs> Not having sex, but cuddling and kissing, doing other stuff. I'm just like, bitch, we knew. Michaela already knew. But he was sleeping with Michaela so she can be thrown out by that dean his fine self. But no, this hoe wanna portray people. Like, bitch, really? You was a dirty ass hoe. And like dirty ass hoes, you need to be dealt with. Well, I'm running for you, Caleb. But you <laughs> in my time banks was, but you messed that up. So uh Nate got the information from a uh, old girl as to why, you know. <clears throat> Everything happened, and I thought, hopefully she's gonna be clear. But Annalise is talking to Da like, so who gonna check me, boo? You said this, but Caleb is the one that did that. And furthermore, Philip is back there. If you need to talk to him, he can come and talk to you. Hopefully, he slices you up with your bullshit that you've been emitting in the past uh, forty minutes of this show because you've been uh, accusing my clients of stuff that is false when you already have this information so what you can do to boost yourself up is get everything together because you know it's Caleb and not me or Philip and do something for yourself and hopefully you can get some accolades goodbye <laughs> and y'all that was it so y'all at the end of everything at least know that Frank told um Frank told uh, Laurel about, <clears throat> dang, Rebecca, not Rebecca, the other girl, the other girl. And evidently, he killed Re whatever the girl name is, the first game, Delilah, the Rebecca Delilah, I don't know, for Sam, because Frank snitched on um, Annalise, which is why he had all that damn money in his damn uh, that garage whenever they were trying to find him. So he got the baby killed. And Sam was like, you owe me, and that's what he owed him for. That's why he killed Delilah or Rebecca or whatever the hell the girl name is. Y'all know I don't care at this point. I don't even like, I think it's Rebecca, which one I don't care for speaking of. So that hoe, that thought over there, she did. She ain't going to be spoke up, hopefully, ever again. So I guess it was Delilah, whatever. The pregnant girl, he killed her. So after all that was said and done, uh, and Annabelle, Annalise was mad. That Frank did what he did, so he was like, he got to go. So, Laura goes to the house. Frank gone. All that is left is some wire hangers. And so the wire hangers are left. How about Wes goes to see uh, his daddy? Although Laurel said, do not, I repeat, do not do anything until Annalise, look, don't do anything to Annalise there. Don't do anything to Annalise there. But Annalise asked, <laughs> one third, Wes goes to seek his daddy and. His daddy on the phone like, yes, we're going to do this. We're going to merge. I'm going to go to Minnesota, yada, 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 and I'm going to do this. And he was like, hold on. Do I know you? He's like, yeah. Blah, 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 so and such. You're my father. He was like, how do you know that? He was like, well, do you know my mom? <laughs> no, he got shot, y'all. <laughs> he got shot. If I tell y'all, which is the damn Grim Reaper, like, oh, my God. It was Frank. That's all I gotta say. It was Frank. He was following him. It was Frank. I don't care what nobody say. It was Frank. If it was Bunny, that would be a trip. But it was Frank. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, hope you like, comment, and subscribe. You think it was Frank shot him? Ready, Frank? Go. Is Frank not gonna be on this episode on the season anymore? Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Cause this was a mess.